हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एस एस पी मै टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ अवर सिलेबस सो टूडेज कंटेंट्स आर फर्स्ट वन इज ऑर्थोगोनल मैट्रिक्स सेकेंड वन इज लिनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन देन ऑर्थोगोनल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट वन इज ऑर्थोगोनल मैट्रिक्स वॉट इज मीन बाय ऑर्थोगोनल मैट्रिक्स ए स्क्वेर मैट्रिक्स ए इज सेड टू बी ऑर्थोगोनल इफ a ट्रांसपोज इंटू ए इज इक्वल टू ए इंटू ए ट्रांसपोज इज इक्वल टू आई वॉट इज आई हियर आई इज द आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स ऑफ मैट्रिक्स मी सपोज इफ यू टेक आई बी द आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर थ्री बाय थ्री देन हाउ यू राइट आई दैट इज वन जीरो 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 वन जीरो 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 वन मीन्स फॉर ऑर्थोगोनल मैट्रिक्स फर्स्ट मैट्रिक्स ए इज स्क्वेर मैट्रिक्स एंड इफ दिस कंडीशन इज सैटिस्फाइड देन वी कैन से दैट गिवन मैट्रिक्स इज ऑर्थोगोनल Every matrix is not orthogonal. If matrix A is orthogonal, then we can write its inverse is equal to its transpose. So why we write here A inverse is equal to A transpose because A into A transpose is equal to I. So using definition of inverse of matrix, we know that this A B is equal to I. Then we can say that B is inverse of A. So so here here a into a transpose is equal to i. So we can say that here a transpose is inverse of a. So every matrix is not orthogonal. If matrix is orthogonal, then its inverse is equal to its transpose. Otherwise not. Then next one is linear transformation. So the transformation y is equal to a x means this one. is called as the linear transformation from x to y so this is very important y is equal to ax is linear transformation from x to y or y in terms of x y equal to x means y1 y2 y3 in terms of x1 x2 x3 or that is called as linear transformation from x to y sometimes question suppose someone ask you question if y is equal to ax is given linear transformation then write down its inverse transformation so inverse transformation of y is equal to ax is x is equal to a inverse into y means here here y in terms of x a here x in terms of y so this is the inverse transformation of this given transformation and how we find inverse of matrix using formula a inverse is equal to adjoint of a upon determinant of a then next one is orthogonal transformation now what is mean by orthogonal transformation a linear transformation y is equal to ax is said to be orthogonal transformation if and only if matrix a is an orthogonal matrix means suppose question a show that the trans given transformation is orthogonal or check whether that transformation is orthogonal or not so how we solve such type of problems first you have to write that transformation in matrix form then take matrix a and check whether a into a transpose is equal to i or not if this condition is satisfied then we can say that matrix a is an orthogonal matrix and if matrix a is orthogonal then we can say that given transformation is also orthogonal so there are some properties first property is if determinant of a is equal to 0 means this if matrix is singular that is determinant of matrix is equal to 0 then the transformation is called as singular transformation if determinant of a is not equal to 0 then the transformation is called as regular or non singular transformation so when we get when we say that y is equal to ax means y is equal to ax is given transformation and when we say that this transformation is regular if determinant of a is not equal to 0 then third property for orthogonal matrix determinant of a is plus or minus 1 means if matrix is orthogonal then the value of its determinant is either 1 or minus 1 and fourth note is on composite transformation that is means if y is equal to ax y equal to ax is a linear transformation from x to y and x is equal to bz is a linear transformation from z to x 
then the linear transformation from z to y is given by z to y z to y means in lhs we want y okay and we have to find linear transformation from z to y so here y is equal to y equal to ax from first transformation and what is the value of x using second transformation x is equal to bz so if we put here then we will get a into bz okay can be written as ab into z and ab is multiplication of two matrices that is say c matrix so this is equal to cz means y is equal to cz y equal to cz means that is the linear transformation from z to y or this is also called as z to y this is also called as composite transformation now we will take some problems here so first problem is given the transformation y is equal to means this one 2 1 1 1 1 2 1 0 minus 2 into x1 x2 x3 question a find the coordinates x1 x2 x3 in x corresponding to 1 2 minus 1 in y so we have to find here x x1 x2 x3 in x corresponding to 1 2 minus 1 in y so what is given transformation here y is equal to means here y given a and this matrix is say a and this is x so given transformation is y is equal to a x and uh, we have to find x1 x2 x3 in x corresponds to 1 2 minus 1 in y so if we take suppose here instead of this y say y1 y2 y3 then value of y1 y2 y3 given a 1 2 minus 1 value of y1 y2 y3 given a 1 2 minus 1 so if you put here and if you write this y is equal to ax instead of this if you write ax is equal to y means first this this matrix and then y y is 1 2 minus 1 then what is this this is same as ax is equal to b and what we want we want x matrix means x is equal to b in non-homogeneous system of linear equation so how we find x here using augmented matrix means consider augmented matrix a b now what is a b a b matrix is joining of these two matrices okay take a b matrix and reduce to canonical form so in next slide here augmented matrix a b is given that is this 2 1 1 1 1 2 1 0 minus 2 and this 1 2 minus 1 now we have to reduce this matrix to equivalent form using row operation so we want first diagonal element one so here in second row already one present a so interchange first and second row means use r12 operation here so if you use r12 operation then we get this matrix means first instead of first row write second row that is one one two one and instead of second row write first row that is two one 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 and third row as it is now we have to make this 2 equal to 0 and this 1 equal to 0 so for that we have to use r2 minus 2 r1 and r3 minus r1 operation so if we use this operation then after simplification we will get this matrix okay now we, second diagonal element is here this minus 1 we have to make below this minus 1 0 means we want here 0 so for that we have to use operation r3 minus r2 here not r1 r3 minus r2 okay so if you use r3 minus r2 then this 0 minus 0 is 0 here minus 1 plus minus minus plus 1 is 0 then minus 4 minus minus plus 3 is minus 1 and last three is minus 3 plus 3 is 0 okay now what is the rank of this matrix rank of a is here means a matrix is this so rank of a is 3 and rank of a b is also 3 okay rank of a is 3 rank of a b is also 3 and if we get rank of a equal to rank of a b equal to number of unknown then we can see that system is consistent and has unique solution so using this matrix we can write again system of linear equation means first equation as x1 plus x2 plus 2 x3 is equal to 2 then second equation minus x2 minus 3 x3 equal to minus 3 and third equation is minus x3 equal to 0 so using this we will get x3 equal to 0 okay if we put x3 equal to 0 in second equation then we will get x2 equal to x2 equal to 3 
okay and put x2 equal to 3 x3 equal to 0 in first equation then we will get x1 equal to 2 so these are the coordinates uh, x1 is equal to uh, after simplification we will get x1 is equal to minus 1 okay so these are the coordinates x1 x2 x3 in x corresponds to 1 2 minus 1 in y now next example is on composite transformation so problem is a transformation from the variables x1 x2 x3 to the variables y1 y2 y3 is given by y is equal to ax means first transformation given a y is equal to ax then another transformation from the variable y1 y2 y3 to z1 z2 z3 is given by z is equal to by so this is second transformation given a z is equal to by where matrix a equal to this matrix b equal to this what is question here question is not given so here we have to find the transformation from x to z means question is find the transformation from x to z means we have to find z in terms of x x to z means in lhs we want z and z kaun se transformation mein given a first or second second mein given a in second given that z is equal to by okay in second given that z is equal to by from first what is the value of y y is equal to ax y is equal to this b as it is and y is equal to ax okay and using associative property we can write this step then b a into x and b matrix given this a matrix is given this if we put here x matrix is x1 x2 x3 z matrix is z1 z2 z3 okay so if we take multiplication of these two matrices how you take multiplication take first row of first matrix and multiply that row to first column of second matrix for example here 1 into 2 plus 1 into 0 plus 1 into minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 is 1 this way if we take multiplication then we will get this matrix and if we take again here multiplication of these two matrices then we get first equation here x1 plus 4x2 minus x3 is equal to z1 z2 z3 so this is the linear transformation means here z is equal to cx z is equal to cx form a here that is the linear transformation from x to z or sometimes you can say that here z1 z2 z3 in terms of x1 x2 x3 okay then next problem is show that the transformation y1 is equal to show that the transformation y1 is equal to 2 by 3 x1 plus 1 by 3 x2 plus 2 by 3 x3 then y2 is equal to minus 2 by 3 x1 plus 2 by 3 x2 plus 1 by 3 x3 and y3 is equal to 1 by 3 x1 plus 2 by 3 x2 minus 2 by 3 x3 is orthogonal okay so for orthogonal transformation first you have to write given transformation in matrix form so if you write this transformation in matrix form then we will get here y1 y2 y3 is equal to from this coefficient matrix is 2 by 3 1 by 3 this matrix minus 2 by 3 then minus 2 by 3 2 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 into x1 x2 x3 so this is that is y is equal to a x form a y is equal to a x means this transformation is y equal to a x and when we say that this y is equal to x means here here given a y equal to x so when we say that this transformation is orthogonal if matrix a is orthogonal now what is mean by orthogonal matrix when matrix a is orthogonal if a into a transpose is equal to i so this is matrix a right here take its transpose means interchange rows and column and if we take multiplication of these two matrices then we will get 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 what is this this is i means a into a transpose is equal to i and therefore we can say that matrix a is an orthogonal matrix and if matrix a is orthogonal then therefore given transformation that is y is equal to ax is an orthogonal 
transformation so these are the some problems related to linear transformation and orthogonal transformation in next video we will take some problems on orthogonal matrix separately and then we will start our next topic of this unit that is most important topic eigenvalues and eigenvectors so thanks for watching thank you